Hey guys, Desolate of Magic here. I just wanted to show off a really cool project that I've been working on. I talked about it on live streams and on my Discord server, and a lot of people were super excited about this. So I finally just got it done in its semi-final form. And uh, there's a lot of corrections I wanted to make from the other video, but uh, link in the description to the video on how to build this and how much it costs. I mean, I'll just spoil it right now. This was about 11 bucks. The solar panel that it hooks up to, right up uh, there out the window, is uh, a 10 watt one. It was about $21 free shipping. So this whole system was like $37. That's pretty good. Now, if you wanted to do like, like a custom lithium sled, I did a series one here. And then I said, oops, that's not allowed with the solar controller because... Um, it only goes down to 14.4, and 14.4 would blow up a series of lithium batteries. They cannot go above 4.2 times 3 in series, which is 12.6 volts. Uh, so I thought, okay, well, I don't want to burn my house down, so I guess we're going with lead acid. It turns out you can turn this down to 12.6. That is its minimum setting. So thanks documentation that was written in really bad uh, translated English that said it only goes to 14.4. So I currently have this set on, I think, 14.2 just for safety, but um, that lead acid battery right there is a riding lawnmower battery. Got it for about 35 bucks, uh, brand new. It's only 17 amp hour, though. If I were to spend about 85 bucks on a deep cycle marine battery, it would be closer to, like, I think 120 amp hours, which now you're competing with lithium pretty hard. But I might get, like, a, like a 20 battery uh, pack and just put it right here. But for now, I've got eight 18650s here that you can just charge a cell phone off of. So check this out. It's got USB outputs. If I plug it in, and boom, it'll start charging, just like that. Cool, I and mean, this actually has a built-in flashlight. So if I want to kind of make this portable, um, I can, you know, charge a cell phone or whatever off of the top of that. So that's kind of cool. It's got one amp and two amp outputs. Well, LEDs there, that's kind of cool. Never had this fail. I've done probably about 30 charge cycles and it hasn't blown up yet, but uh, I don't completely trust it. I did match all the cells though, which is really important. Uh, but yeah, right now it's charging up to 14.2. You can see it's a uh, little arrows going. So unfortunately, it's like 5.30, 6 o'clock, so the sun's kind of going down a little bit, but uh, we're still getting some off of this. Even on this long of a run with 14-gauge wires, I'm getting, oh, I think like 21.5 volts, which is weird because I thought that panel only did 12, but okay. Uh, this can take up to 24, so I'm not worried, but that, you know, this is more push. Great, cool. I think under load it drops or something like that. I don't know. I think I took a voltage reading on here. It was something a little bit more reasonable. Um, but the cool thing is this will backfeed the uh, electricity from the battery into the output and into those when the sun's not shining, which is great. So then I could just, you know, here it is. There's my master, you know, run everything device. And then I can charge whether the sun's going or not. And then it just refills that battery whenever it can. So just a nice system. It was under 30 bucks. Like I said, if you had like a little custom made sled and some lithiums, you're looking at like maybe 40 bucks flat. But otherwise, this is about 32 bucks. So... Pretty nice. I mean, to guarantee you could charge USB devices. Uh, so if I were to step up to like a, an $80 100 watt panel, we'd be looking at some serious stuff. I could probably just put a, a freezer right here, you know, and that would be enough to run it because the freezer's compressor runs like, what, for 60 seconds, four times an hour? I mean, that's nothing. And, and the freezer I was looking at is 135 watt draw. So 135 watts for one minute you divide that by 60 to get the amp hours, it's like nothing. I mean, you could you could probably run it off this thing if it had the output for it, which it doesn't. But uh, this would probably be enough to run my refrigerator. I mean, that thing runs for about one to two minutes every hour or something, depending upon the ambient temperature. Now, I couldn't run this air conditioner off it because this thing draws like 600 watts. Um, the maximum output of this is 350. But if I were to step it up to a little bit bigger controller, a little bit nicer with, you know... Uh, an inverter on here, eh, it'd be two, three hundred bucks, you know, between the panel and that. And I actually know a place to get 250 watt panels that are used for like 55 a piece. I think plus shipping, that is insane. I mean, I wish I could just throw up two of those 500 watts. Let's go, just plug it into the cooling. But that still wouldn't keep up with this because I run this like 24 seven to cool my uh, crypto miners in the basement. But the goal is to get like maybe four of those go with basically one kilowatt, 1000 watts and just run the Bitcoin miners off that or run the cooling off that depending upon what season it is. And this is all paid for with uh, crypto money. So there you go. Crypto funded green energy like it always does. So if you got any questions or uh, want to build this yourself, um, got all the parts on eBay. That's a renew panel, and uh, this is just that blue charger that everybody sells. <laughs> Doesn't really have a brand. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. I'm super excited that this is done, and I'll let you know if it burns my house down, but it shouldn't. These are actually really well-reviewed. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.